Good morning, everyone. It's Rachel here. Just let me make sure, you, yes, you're around the right way. I hope you're all well. We are doing Roxy's Weekly Challenge, and we are going to revisit one that I did last year that I really like. Um, I can't remember exactly how I did it, but we're going to use old book pages. We're doing Easter, and we're going to make those pockets that I did. Um, they were super cute and they had like a fussy cut on the edge of the pocket. So that's what I want to do. Um, so I might use some of this, but I could also use some glue paper. I'll just choose some of the ones that don't have too much glue on them. And now let me think though, because they, 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 that does tend to remain a little bit tacky. So I wouldn't want that on the inside of the pocket. So if I were to do it that way, um, what I'm going to do with these is because I'm going to collage on them as well. That one's torn. I just want to tie this. These ones are a bit wider than the other ones. So um, I could do something like that. No. I'm going to... I can't remember how I did them. I'm going to have that. Fold that up like that. That's what I'm going to do. Fold it up like that. Just fold this over a little bit so it's nice and strong. This is a nice width. How wide is this one? This one is four and a half. And the length is seven. Seems to be a good size, doesn't it? Anyway, this one had a bit of clumpy glue on it, so we don't want clumpy glue. So let's mass produce. You're pretty thinking, good Lord woman, what are you doing? But you'll see in a minute. Let's do the folding. I'll glue that now that I've stuck the glue there, but we'll do the folding and then we will um, do the gluing. There we go, there's my words out. Actually, not that end, I'm going to do it this way. I might have that, excuse me, I'm going to have that nice edge on the outside that some of you work so hard to do with the, with the, um, what's it called, the inking. That's going to go, and the reason why I glued it, that's, I'm going to collage on there, and so that way, that one is up the right way. That one, I've, that one's up, going to be upside down. I'll just have to cover that with something. Just do that. I'll glue that other one in a minute. So, if I, I'm not going to use the glue paper, I'll tell you why, because it's a little bit sticky. So, we'll just do our gluing on there as per usual. Um, I'll grab another one of these. And... So fold that like that and then up. I'll prepare a few and then I just put them in my um, to-do box. I'm going to grab a different book. All the different papers. We'll do a couple of those. And what else? I call it my bullet hole paper. We'll do a bit of this one. Oh, that one's really... We went to town on that one. Oh, that's the one that we altered that time. So we'll just fold that. And put that up like so. And then I'll do those two. And then we'll get cracking. Oops. Oh my goodness, crooked, crooked, doesn't matter. I can survive with that. Okay, and now if my paper were even wider, what I would have done was this, fold it up like so, and then had do the, do the wrap around. But um, these papers, I don't want to lose the width so much in these pockets. Maybe I could do it with one of them, but no, I don't want to lose the width, so I'm not going to do it that way. I did them with flowers. I'm going to do them with Easter fussy cuts, these ones. And I don't, because I'm using nice old book page, I don't need to cover everything. So that's good. So we'll just use up some of these glue pages, I think, and with the gluing. So this is the way I streamline my process. Do all my folding, my gluing. But what I could do is put a little um, folded piece, like a kind of, in inverted commas, gusset sort of thing. 
not a gusset, it's not expandable, but um, to create um, the pocket so it's not a tight pocket. I don't think I got a lot of glue there. I did put some more. Oh, hardly got any glue on there at all. How did I manage that? Mm. Press a bit harder. There we go. Hold this up because it's very sticky. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. We are well. It's sunny. Getting all the things done. Hopefully. So as mentioned, the ones I don't complete, I will put in my to-do box. Boy, have I gone through a lot of glue lately. Okay. So get rid of that. And now I'm going to grab, I've got lots and lots and lots of strips here. Doesn't really matter what's on them. I'm just going to use these. Close my pockets so let's fold it up there and trim. It's a bit extra work, but it's worth doing. And that way I won't have because I can I can actually just glue down there. Maybe I'll just do that. I'll do this and show you this, but I think the other ones I'll just glue down. I don't they won't be that tight. Just to move us along a bit faster. Because there's quite a bit to do. You just fold them in half. Actually, I might fold them that way. So if you were to open the pocket, you would see the, the colour, not the white. Not that it matters. Grab some glue paper. Oh, I'll grab a new glue stick, I think. I do keep myself stocked up with glue. Wouldn't run out of glue. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it? So then you just stick it on there, slide it to the edge, and then oh, it's not quite to the edge, is it? Oops! Goodness gracious! Yeah. Okay. Well, and then just fold it. But wait, you've got to put the other one on first. And then you have, oops, then you have a pocket that um, is not so tight. But I'm not going to bother with it. You see, it's a bit fiddly. When you're making many, it's a, it's a little bit fiddly. So you, you have extra real estate in your pocket. But I'm going to just do it like this because I want to move a bit faster than that. Change my mind like the wind. a bit of glue there so I need to trim this sometimes these books have been heavily glued and it may need a little clip because this is a much stronger even though it's worm attacked it's a stronger paper that one down as well first I need to trim this ok 
Okay, a couple more to do. Okay, so these can be a floating pocket. You can glue them down onto a page, um, paper clip it in, whatever you like. Um, but they're just fun, a bit of fun. And let me just grab a wet one. I've got glue everywhere. Okay. Now the next thing I might like to do is I need to put a little bit of something here. So let's look at that before we start looking at the fussy cuts. Um, I do have little things like these too that I might just simply put across. Oh, I could put a doily there and take that. It's just not enough time to have fun with these fun packs. I'd like to do more, but I just, you know, I just don't, I'm going to be going away, so I can't do too much more. And then it's finished until next year. Right, so I think I'm going to glue that one on there. And that covers that upside downness. Not that it really matters, but let's finish off this glue. Quite finished. Put that there. One. Let's see what we might put. Put, yes, I'm going to put that there so I need to trim it off about here. Sometimes I forget to use my, my doilies. I probably need to make an ephemera holder just for the doilies. I will do that when I come back, I think. Cool. very pretty spring like I've got some more over here let's look at these this is from one of my this is in this is not from an Easter kit this is from one of my um, it's in the doilies and laces section anyway I'll link the link everything in the description box well most things unless I forget something I didn't put a, a peg. I was going to say a peg. You know what I mean. I didn't put a peg on there. Excuse me for the noise. Very vigorous gluing happening here. Okay. That's that one. I wonder if that's stuck down now. I think it is. Always handy to have those, isn't it? Okay, what will we put on that one? Oh, I've got more of these. Where are they? Oh, here.
you can put whatever you like there I'm just I'm, I just like the embroidered flowers and things for Easter Now let's see what little little cute other cute things that we might have. Uh, let me see. I've got a lot of stuff pulled out, guys. Um, rifling through the papers. Oh, those sorts of things could be interesting. Nothing on that one. Uh, these are a bit bigger, I think. Okay, right. Oh, this one, I'm going to use this one, maybe. my doilies here somewhere I wonder where I put them just a minute I do have a little box of um, little doilies somewhere I get to use oh, there they are I've got them I'll just pull it out here it is look doilies I'll tell you who has nice doilies is my sister Roxy Creations by Sarah she has really really nice doilies as well so put those over there get rid of the sticky paper this one might be a bit small i put those over but I don't think I want them let's see do I have a narrower pocket not really oh I think I'll put that one down there for a difference oh but I need to cover that bit up there too I will do that I might do oh now where's my ephemera could go to my ephemera. I'd love something scripty. I think that's really pretty there. Love that. Oops. I could then put the bigger ones. been in these for quite a while I forget about them it's really terrible I think I might have printed these these are a bit smaller than what I need let me try this one and this is printed on a more cardstock it's probably an old printout probably with the Epson so the colors aren't in as intense as I would like them however I think I might like that on there or I might like, I think I'm going to like it on there. Yes, I do. So, trim that up. And I won't throw those bits out because you can use those. So, as a difference to the first ones, I'm putting this down here. Off to the side because I'm going to be doing something else as well. And... Might I like to see that one? Oh, that one was the upside down one there. No, I don't want to see that. Nope, that's not it. Got plain, cute mushrooms. Yeah, I'm, I don't know why I kept those on the cardstock. They're not the best printouts. I might get rid of those. I don't seem to have any of my sisters here. I need to go and print those out. No, not great printouts, those ones. I do have a folder somewhere with the doilies. I'm sure it's here behind. Let me just see if I can get to it. Is there? It might be on the bottom one. I think it's on the bottom one, possibly. Aha, found it. Lucky it didn't take too long. No, that's draft. I didn't find it. Oh, it was the one in the front, silly. Okay, 
Here we go. Here's some. I did print out some. I love those. And I, have, I must remember to use them. No bad printouts. I must get rid of these bad printouts from you know on the bodgy paper. Oh yeah, these are good. These are on good paper. It's too big. Oh, pretty. Okay, let's see. Probably not so much that one because the pattern's in the middle. I wanted to see, oh, I've got some, these, some of these in here are my sister's and they're really good ones. That one's mine. Um, I don't have many of my, oh, those are really cute. I don't have many of my sister's. This one I know is one of hers. And that one's one of Sarah's. So cute. There's, she's got some really good ones. I need to print them out again. I've used them all. That's Sarah's. But they're too big for this. So I can't use those. Okay, put those aside. I might put... I think I'll put the bird on there. Or this one. This one's big. Put that one on. Okay, let's cut it off. I'm just eyeballing it. Yep, okay. Glue, glue, glue. We lost a bit of time here, guys. Not that we're in a hurry. It's all meant to be fun and relaxing. No rushy, rushy. Okay. Okay, that's that one. Let's just put them aside because I'm getting in a... I want to put something on there. I think I'm going to put one of these plain ones. I might. That's my thought. I don't know whether the thought will, be, will come true, but that is the thought. Um, the other option is to put a label as well. You could put a label across there. You could collage. I didn't want to cover all of the paper, which on some of these I may not have achieved that goal um, because... I'm using the nice old book pages because I want to be able to see them. So we will see what, what effect I get. I wonder if you can guess what's going to happen next. I'm going to put that on there um, because I don't want, not that it really, I mean it doesn't really bother me but it might bother someone else. Um, to have the upside down writing. It's, they're all sticky, these. I've been gluing on them. Gluing and gluing and gluing. I might just slide that up a little bit and I'll trim it off at the top. Because I did crease it there and it just gives it a little bit of a... Even though I might probably glue, glue this down onto a page. It gives it a little bit of reinforcement. Okay, now the next job is... Get rid of that. Oh, such a mess on the floor. I need to tidy that up. I do tidy it up every few days, but it does get out of control. Yes, it does. Okay, move those over there. Take these clips off. And these are my little pockets so far. Don't need any of that. Move it out of sight. So quite a few. Oh, we may even get them all done. I don't know. Helps if you glue things down properly. Okay, the next job is I'm going to have a look at each one individually with a fussy cut. I don't know that I have fussy cuts here that I want to use. Oh, I don't want anything that I've already cut out. That's right. So that's why I'm ignoring those over there. And I've got some... Oh, I know. I might want to use one of those. I don't know. Um, and I had put some somewhere. Where did I put them? 
this one. Okay, so, oh, I instantly think on that one, I want to use this. I'm going to choose them. That's going with that one. On this one, I might use this there. I don't want anything too, too big. This one. Nope. Nope. That one I might like to see on there. Okay, we'll put that over there. Would I like to see this one on one? There. That's nice. Okay, but the other place I wanted to go to, where I pulled them out. Where did I put them? Where are my other ones? Yeah. I want my other fussy cuts. These. So I could have quite like that. So not things that I've already cut out. Oh, this one could... Oh, I put them on the wrong side. Oh, that could work on there. It's a bit big, that one. Let me see if I've got a smaller one. These are my previous fussy cut things that I have. Um, that's a slightly better colouring, that one. Because it's printed on regular paper. I do need to do another print out of these. I've just been trying to use them up a bit. That would be really... Oh, that's going to be super cute on that one. Okay, cool. And let's keep on going. Oh, this one. I think I might like that one on there. That It's a colour thing. And on this one, I need to see... Would I like that? No, I don't think I want any of those. That's too big. too small I would like that one but it's too small do I have another one left printed out I don't know I kind of like that one that's a possibility nothing too big oh actually this look at the difference in color look at that color and that color that one's bigger though that's on regular paper that's on copy paper isn't that silly it does the 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 um, not copy paper you know thicker paper it just doesn't absorb the colors i don't think i think they just slide off the surface or i do have these flowers which are also good and we haven't done i do like that but that one's too big that one's slightly bigger than the other one i do like that that's a possibility i think unless i have that other one in paper smaller that one's going to be too big. Let's see here. Nope. Nope. Okay. It's simply because I haven't, I need to reprint. I've used a lot of the stuff. Okay. So. I think I'll keep that one out, but I think I've decided on the other one. And I've used a couple of those, and I think that's enough. Okay, so my next job is to get these, each one. Oh, I need to put something there. I didn't put anything there. Oh, I don't want two doilies. That's a no. That's, that's, a, that's a no for that. Um, so what I need to do is, I think... Oh, I know. I wanted some ephemera. Like, you know, something like this. I'd like to put some script there. So, I'm actually going to tear that. Where's my, my pen? I'll put a marker. And I'm going to tear that and glue that on there. I forgot about that. So, I'll tear it off here. I should tear it the other way, but anyway, it is what it is. And... Oh, I really didn't do much of a mark there. I can't see it under that. I don't need such a big piece. So, yes, I'm having some script there. So we'll glue that. 
Oh, we step aside and printed. How about that? There we go. Now this I'm going to glue onto the glue paper. Although this is already thick, I probably didn't need to. I didn't need to. This is already not thick. It's 120 GSM, this one. But no, it's going to be super strong. And I think I would, I would... This is the same type of paper. I think I'll glue that one on as well. So what I think I'll do is do all my gluing first. I'll forget which one goes where, but it doesn't matter. We'll work it out. That can glue. Will it fit on there? It will. Nice way to use up your glue book pages, although you create more because you've got to glue them on. You can never beat the glue book pages. They just accumulate. They just grow. That's that one. I'll glue these. Come on, glue. Cooperate, would you? I think I've decided I'm going to finish all of these and I don't even need them all. That's the thing. I don't even need them all. But I want to see them finished because they're fun. So just reinforcing. Can I put it on there, probably. Only a couple more to do. I'll put that on. No, that doesn't really fit. I'll put it here. Especially I've got something smaller coming up here that I can put there. Okay, and then we've got one more. This one. I know I'm covering up this nice thing here, but I have that much stuff. I just have to glue over the top of it. Okay, wet one. That's dry. Where's my wet, wet one? Here we go. Got it. Okay, guys. Now, let's bring the basket up and cut. So we'll do the first one first. So I'll just separate them off here so it's a bit easier to manage them. And I need my little scissors. And I'm going to fussy cut them out. So what I might do, maybe I'll pause the video, do my fussy cutting, and then come back. How about that? That's a good idea. I'll do that. Okay, I've done my fussy cutting, guys. It took a minute. Um, so let's start remembering where they're supposed to go, because I don't remember. And if I need to do anything else. Um, I think I was looking at that one for that one and that one. This was going on one of these. Maybe we'll tentatively put it there. This was going on, was it going on this blue one? I think I like that there. Um, we'll leave it so I can see it. Can't remember where this was. Oh, one of those was supposed to go there. I think that was going to go there. But I might change it. I think I might put it there. That's cute there. Maybe I'll have that. Or was that going to go over here? Don't worry, I'll get on. Um, that one was going definitely going there. That one's not going to overhang quite as much, but that's okay. I kind of prefer that and that. Okay, switched it. And then this one can go here. 
Yes, I like that. So they're just going to be, I've strengthened them because they're going to be overhanging um, the, the pocket. So let me see. That one was upside down. I've solved that because I've got the little chicks. And I think there I didn't cut all of it. I'm just going to grab my, it's 942 Tombow. I'm just going to colour in a little bit. Where I need to just being careful not to go onto the paper. Takes the stress out of fussy cutting, doesn't it? There we go. Right. So let's glue these down and then we'll decide the last one. And just see how we're travelling. Now, I'll just put my glue here on this lower bit. And then a little bit across the top here because you don't want it gaping. And put that there. So cute. So we did do this with flowers, I think, last year sometime, earlier in the year. And I think I'm going to, I don't think I had any left or did I have one that I was hanging on to to remind myself? I can't remember, but I'm going to definitely put one of these in my hoardy book. So I think they're really great. And that one is not overly Easter, even though these things are in my Easter kit. So that can be used in any occasion. Whereas the egg I would use for Easter. So we'll just put that there and here. And glue that one on. Now you can um Where's my bone? I'll put my bone folder away. You can um, do something else there, but I think I might like to leave it because we've got some nice papers there. If I haven't glued somewhere, like I don't think there's any glue under that bit there, let's pop in and put some glue. Okay. Where's the one that I glued already? Oh, there. Okay, this, I really like this one. I need to put my glue pretty much to that flower there. Now I'm using wet glue just because I can control better where I put it. Like if I'm smooshing glue stick, it might go up there. And this one was going on this side, I think. Probably not. I'm probably putting it on the wrong side, doesn't matter. That will be okay. Oops, too much glue. So I grab the dry, wet one. We don't want to glue our pocket closed. Okay. I, I was meant to put it on that side, but you know, you just go with it. And now this one I can pretty much glue all of it except for the, the head of that taller, the higher up chick. Good. Now that was a good choice, I think, for this one too, because this was where I had folded the pocket upside down. These are very fun. Now, where do I have to go to here? About there. I'm not pressing too hard, so if there's any oozing glue, I'm hopefully not closing my pocket. Because also having that fold to reinforce it helps. And then this one, I love this. That's going to go there. And we have pretty much covered, but we've got the paper there, so that's good. I might even put it up a bit higher. So I've got to go to that point there.
Okay, and then here, I love that. A little bit of the book page showing. Or do I like this more? I can even overhang it there. No, I think I'll have this one. I thought this one was too big, but I'm going to overhang it like so. Right, so to about there and not quite to that edge there. Because if I glue it down in a journal, then that will glue down, but it's overhanging. I like that idea. And afterwards I can see if anything else needs to be glued down. You could even glue that bit there and then just slide in whatever. Okay, so let's have a recap and see if anything else needs to happen. I don't think these ones need obviously anything else. Let's make sure. Yep. This one I might like to put something else. That one's good. And I don't want to cover up that. I love that. Good. Nope, not covering any of that up. And I like this one. I don't feel like this one needs anything. I don't know why. Maybe because it's busy up there and it's busy over here. So I don't feel like it needs anything else. Whereas this one, I'm not quite sure. I sort of feel like it might. It might accept another thing. It just might. It might not. It's a little bit gaping there. When it all dries, I will come back and fix any anything that needs to be fixed I'm just thinking maybe just a plain plain little label of some sort yeah something like that but I'm going to go over here to the ones that Steffi decorated my dear husband very clever clever man he is did these a few years ago where have they gone I keep skipping them here they are I could have a blue one I think I would prefer a green one now, the reason, I love that label, but see, they're two verticals. I want something more horizontal. I don't want two verticals together. That's my issue. This one might be a little bit big. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to have what I want in the correct size. I'm not. I know I'm not because I've used them all. This. Too small. You see, I told you, I don't have what I need in the right size. So I have to go to find something else. Um, that's one that I painted many moons ago. Nope. I wanted that one. That's the one I wanted. So maybe I'll go back to this one, the plain one. I'll do the plain one. Or do I want a bigger one? They're not bigger, so I don't know why I'm looking at those. I don't think I want one of these. I, I'm running out of small ones of those, actually. I need to print them up again. Or this one. I might like this one. Okay, let's see. I think I'll have this one. Yeah, just a plain one. And it doesn't cover all the writing, which is good because we wanted to be able to see a little bit of the paper and not totally cover it up. And there we have it. Cool. So, cute pockets. Let me just grab something. So look, and then you have these. How cute is that? They go in the pocket. There's this one. Oh my gosh, I love it in that one. Really nice. And then this one. So all different. Oh, I even like it. In, oh, I'm going to like it in all of them, aren't I? And that one, we've got lots made. Very pretty. This one's so cute. So doilies, fussy cuts. Maybe a little bit of ephem um, scanned ephemera. I love it in that one. I love it in all of them. What fun. And I did, yeah, I did all of them. That's good. This is quite a big pocket. Oh, look at that. 
See, I just love that. Okay, so super fun. So it works well with Issa. This one I think I'm going to, because I put it up higher. Oh, it also didn't stick. That's what my issue is. It didn't stick, guys. Look, let's fix that up. Silly. There we go. Now it's sticking. But I'm going to put just a, a dab of glue there as well and stick that down. I want it to stick down. I'll visit, revisit the other ones and see if they need it too. Super, super cute. So I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great fire, uh, fire day, Friday. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.